Oh bill. my god, bitch. <laughs> These are just you and drag. <laughs> You're so shady. This is you. Yeah. This gingham fantasy. Girl, that, Who's that? Yes, that, that was my teacher. Amy, that... were you leading the church choir? Girl, back at home, we didn't have so much uh, when it comes into the arts, there wasn't that much uh, opportunity. So like that was it was a huge part of what we did was the church, was the choir, and was all of that. That's how we were able to really express ourselves. In Cameroon, I didn't even know what drag was. You come to America because you want to chase the American dream. You can be who you are and you can work really, really hard. And when you work really hard, you are rewarded. But we are living in a political times where dreams are being crushed. So when somebody comes and say, guess what? Uh-uh, I'm taking all of this away from you. It is very, very disheartening. It, it takes away hope. Every day I get so many emails from like people from Africa, uh -huh. you know, who say, I've watched you and you're such a huge inspiration. Just the fact that you can go and you're doing what you're doing is letting me know that I'm okay. Yeah. And I just hope that with what we do and our culture can change, right. you know, because I love my culture. I really, really do. And it, it's a huge part of what I do. It's a huge part of my aesthetic because right. it keeps me grounded. It, but there are parts of it where I'm like, we need to change. Yeah. And as much as there is so much happening in this country politically, we still are able to do this. We are still able to create careers for ourselves with the art form. That is a blessing. And that is a blessing not to be taken for granted because that cannot happen elsewhere. Okay, I can see how these women influenced you in drag, yeah. but why don't you wear any high-waisted slacks anymore in drag? <laughs> don't leave hair. this part of your culture behind. Look how happy you look. Oh my gosh, I was giving you very Steve Urkel. Wasn't I giving Yay! you a very Steve Urkel? Religious like, singing Steve Urkel. <laughs>